in a Flutter project, we use the function run app to inflate our application and attach it to the screen of the device. Similarly, the pump widget method from the widget tester class achieves the same on a test environment. It renders the initial UI of the given widget. Thanks to this method, we can now script different interactions with our application to verify its behavior. Interacting with our application is crucial during the testing phase. After all, being able to tap a button, fill a form, or scroll through views is what adds value to our project. In order to do so, we can use the tested object to perform those operations. Let's take a look to the following test. As you can see, we first pump the calculator app widget, and then we enter two numbers, 3 and 6. Finally, we try to assert that the result is 9. However, if we run this test, it fails. To understand why this fails, we need to check first how the application works. Only when we enter the two numbers, we see that the UI changes and displays the result. That change in the UI, that new frame that Flutter rendered, is precisely what we are missing in our tests. We need to find a way to tell our widget test to render a new frame after we've entered both numbers. The solution to this problem is to call the pump function of the tester instance. Pump will ask the system to paint a new frame so we can perform our expectations with the new refreshed UI. Let's run the test again to see how it passes. However, pump is somehow limited, since it only updates a single frame, and that's not useful when we work with animations. For example, in our calculator project, we've added a new feature, in which the result will only be displayed after an animation that lasts for a second. As you can imagine, there's a lot of frames in just a single second. If we run our test again simply by using pump, you'll see that the tests fail again. In these cases, the best option is to use pump and settle. It calls pump over and over again until the animation is completed. In other words, pump and settle can ask the system when the animation is over, and then lets you perform your validation test. If we run the test again using pump on settle, we see that it passes without a problem. 